Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a bit different. I'm going to try to build a car in 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and 1 minute. Uh, the thing is, I don't usually build cars, which will be very interesting to see how I do. So let's jump right into it. So for the 10 minute car, I was able to make a pretty normal uh, car that you would see in a city. I was able to add some very nice details in the 10 minutes that I had, such as an exhaust pipe or some side mirrors. The good thing is that when you have more time, you're able to make the car actually look pretty finished off. As you can see, I've added a lot of like very smooth uh, tiles and slopes. And also, as you can see, a uh, normal minifigure is able to fit in the car very nicely. So in general, I think that uh, I did pretty well for the time that I had. And I think I was able to make a pretty nice looking car. Now for the five minute car, uh, I wanted to do some exploring, right? I wanted to make something that looked really interesting or cool or something that's unique. And I want to make something that's different from what I did in the 10 minute car. This car reminds me of something that you'll see in a science fiction, like movie or something, or also, or also like a carnival, like a bumper car. I used this very unique trans clear dome piece to finish it off and give it that very nice smooth look that adds to its uniqueness. I used trans blue pieces in this build for the lights because I thought that it fit the science fiction theme better. I think that for 5 minutes this build turned out to be pretty good. Alright, last but not least, we have the one minute car. For the one minute car, I just basically just start randomly building and then uh, I think that for one minute this is pretty good. I used one of the trans clear slopes as the windshield. I experimented with the wheels of the car by using some of these small Technic bulbs. This is basically about as good as I could get in making a car in one minute. So I think it turned out pretty good. So in conclusion, this was a pretty fun challenge and I hope to do similar things again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.